Hey, yo, what's good? What's popping? What's happening with you all? It's your boy Gold Phoenix in the flesh. Rise from the ashes and be blessed, man. Listen up. I still have not gotten on the road, man. And it is hurting my feelings. I'm ready to leave. I am. But I still have a couple more classes to do. I have some more, you know, prerequisites before I can get out of here. Which is fine, you know, this loss I'm taking right now, I'll just get back in a relatively short period of time if all goes well. So I'm not stressing too hard about that. But us as truckers know, when you sit for too long, and everyone's tolerance for this is different. When we sit for too long, you get that itch. You get that itch, bros. I, I need my fix. I need, I need my fix of some miles, man. Need my fix of the miles. But it's all good though. Um, I do have a couple more things to do. I have some computer-based training I need to take care of. I should do it before I go to sleep tonight, but you know, I was supposed to be emailed the stuff I need to handle, and I have not received that email, so I'm thinking I might just go into the build and log into the computer and knock that out before I go to bed is what it is you do what you got to do i've been in the process of of course cleaning out my truck i think i said that in my last video but when i tell you guys i've had a lot of random things in here that i forgot about i completely forgot about you know a lot of that stuff just had to go so it, it's been a process trying to figure out what to keep what not to keep what to get rid of yada 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 just to accommodate for having somebody else in here. I'm gonna take this down real quick and show y'all. I don't know how you can see that. I still have a few things up there. I'm going to go to the post office tomorrow or UPS. I'm gonna ship some of that stuff home just to, cause I don't wanna get rid of any of that stuff up there. I need it. But you see that mattress? You see how thick that joint is? That is an eight inch memory foam mattress because the one that they had in here before I laid on it I didn't like it it hurt my back it's very uncomfortable that one I guarantee you any student I have will sleep like a dream on that you know it's an integrity thing I had a couple people tell me I was stupid for making that purchase it was what hundred seventy dollars plus tax but a couple people said it was kind of stupid you know i'm turning this truck in in a couple of months so why spend that money they you know plenty of students make do with 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 uh the little crappy prison mattress that they put up plenty of students are okay with that or you know even if they're not they they tough it out it'll be all right right that's the thing plenty of students do have to deal with the crappy prison joint that they have in their truck. I get that. A lot of students deal with it. it. Is what it is. Here's the difference. Those are not my students. My students deserve better because they're mine. And I'm not going to treat you or anybody less than I see fit. And if you are in an environment where you are supposed to be learning from me, then I want you to feel as comfortable as possible because that's what I want for myself. You're in my space, therefore you get the benefits of being in my space. It might not be perfect, but you know, I'll make do with what I can. You know, trucking can only get but so comfortable and that's, that's just one thing I could help with. I also bought a set of bed sheets, which are brand new. They're up on that bunk too. I was gonna make the bed up entirely and have it ready for them, but you know, I realized I was thinking about it and people do get kind of funny about that kind of thing. They might think someone else was up there or whatever the case may be. So I left them in the package, sealed. They know they're brand new. They can set that up for themselves. That way they have that peace of mind knowing that one, that's one less expense they have to worry about and two, no one else has touched it and what i'm gonna end up doing is just replacing the sheets every time i get a new student write it off in taxes it is what it is uh what else 
bills. I was gonna buy a sleeping bag at Walmart, but it seems a bunch of people had the same idea as me. So they didn't have any. I'll scout around tomorrow and see if I can find one somewhere else, whether that be at like a Target or maybe another Walmart, cause there's several in this area. I might just try somewhere else and see if I could get my hands on what I deem to be necessary. One of the things I am going to have to deal with, what is it? Today is Tuesday. Thursday, I'm gonna have to get my truck inspected. There's going to be somebody from the office who comes in here and they look around and they, you know, see what kind of environment I plan on putting students inside of and if it's up to their standards and yada, yada, whatever, which is perfectly fine. I honestly, I agree with that move on this company's part that is something that they should do to everybody have them under that scrutiny because it, it holds us accountable in a way and i've seen some tragic team situations just pee bottles everywhere and it's just like i wouldn't want to touch that truck with a, a yard state like i've seen some people living in some pretty disgusting places and i might have had a lot of stuff in here before but it was never messy you know what i'm saying i have i cleared out my um sound bar gave that away i took the subwoofer out from behind my fridge and what i ended up doing with that is i used that space i put my tripod back there a couple other things my ring light is back there and i put my supply of toilet paper back there which at this current point i have 43 rolls of toilet paper why? Because I understand gas station toilet paper sucks. The stuff that they have in truck stops sucks. And I refuse to subject myself to something so subpar. And so that's available for them to use too. I got paper towels back there too, as you know, throw a roll up there where it's meant to go. And yeah, you know, I actually, I didn't realize how much of a difference it would make having such little stuff inside of my truck it's been a while since i've seen so little in here but i actually kind of like it albeit there is about to be somebody with me practically all the time so i mean what choice do you have but you know if i could go back in time i probably would have never packed so much in here to begin with you know what i mean i practically had like my whole like anything i could think of i had with me and that's just how solo life spoils you. You know, OTR in a sense. Y'all know I pretty much never go home. So, you know, and when I do go home, I might visit, I take what I need and, and I'm back on the road for several more months. So, you know, I got used to living in this environment, bringing up this space, you know, it kind of promotes more of a, a minimalist type of lifestyle where you just have what's essential, what's necessary. No, I am missing a first aid kit. I should go, I should go buy one of those probably tomorrow. I'm, I'm gonna buy that tomorrow. But you know, as things stand now, things are looking up pretty, pretty nicely. I can't complain. But that's just a, a quick update of what I'm dealing with right now and how things are going. I'm sure there's somebody out there who wants me to get back on the road and start talking about some of the stuff I'm dealing with just as much as trust me, I'm right there with you. I'm so sick and tired of sitting in this place, but some sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. And this is going to work out in my favor and hopefully plenty of other people's so I, i'll take the hits i'm in the hole quite a bit of money right now but i'll get out it's no biggie but yeah that's um that's pretty much all i had to say about that like i said it's just a quick update i didn't have too much to say i just felt like turning on my camera and rambling also I'll show y'all something else I completely cleared out my fridge and cleaned it aside from my coffee cream. I don't know how well y'all see that, but 
I cleared everything out, threw away everything that had been sitting in there for a while. So we'll see, you know, bubbles, whatever. I'm gonna wait until I have somebody assigned to me. Uh, I'm gonna wait until I have someone assigned to me and then we'll go grocery shopping. I'll get what I want and I'll get whatever they want. And hopefully it all fits in there, but I cleared everything out just so you know, I know what I'm working with and I can purchase groceries within reason. So we'll see how I work out. We'll definitely see how that work out. I am rather excited. I really am. The type of training I'm gonna be doing is OTR essentially. So I'll be training people who once they have their license, they'll get on my truck and we'll team and what my plan is you know maybe for the first week or two i'll probably run super solo with them just so i can evaluate what they've been able to learn how they maneuver you know uh of course every student is nervous about backing so i'll be there to help them with that and so you know let them get their feet wet back into some docks run some easy loads that have plenty of time on them so that way I am not losing too much sleep. I'll be able to sit up here with them and, and yeah, ride with them. That way I can help calm some of their nerves and understand some of their concerns and what they're nervous about and teach them the way I see fit. Once I believe you are at a point where you can handle it, game on. We, we, we balls to the walls. We run into most everything everywhere and I'm not playing no games with you. So, that's, I guess that's what you can expect with me. Like I said, I'm new at this. I'm not new to trucking, but I'm new to teaching, at least to this capacity. I've trained in other industries, but never this one. So, we're going to see how it works out. Like I said, I'm excited. And, yeah, I'm wrong. Um, Y'all can tell I'm trying not to smile, but I'm, I'm really excited. But anyway, that's all I had to say about that. As I always tell you guys, be happy, stay blessed. Do not be afraid to make drastic changes in your life. It might end up being the best decision you ever made. This winter is crazy. This winter is ridiculous. Be safe. We got people who want the best for us. We got people who want to see us make it home. Let's not disappoint them. I am Gold Phoenix. And I'm out.